All right, guys, NMRC here. Got the SCX-6 on the workbench. I still haven't decided if I want to make it a 6x6 yet or not. Uh, I'm getting Viviton or whatever Vivitation uh, axles for it today. Um, so, yeah, there, there's that coming. I'll do a video on that. Uh, I should probably wait, but I'm getting... I got this, uh, what is it, Clubs Racing scale design fender flare delete so we're deleting these dumb big old flares on it and we're deleting the rock sliders that come on that on this jeep also same brand rc club racing scale designs that i got in today in the mail here you go i'll give you guys the the part number if my phone will focus here There you go, rock slider, stainless steel for the SCX-6. I'll give you guys the part number on this thing, too. All right, so, yep, there's that. There's the original sliders, as you can see there. So, uh, once I get it changed out, I'll get you guys back on. That way you can see the outcome. And I got wheels and tires coming for this, too. So, guys, stay tuned if you want to see more of the SCX-6. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do this as a 6x6, but I do have a lead to another silver body just like this so I can make, make, the, make it longer to make it for the whole body to be a 6x6 also is what I'm trying to say. Uh, the chassis, I would have to extend it the frame rails of course and that's where i'm kind of like at a standstill do i really want to chop up a 1200 dollars rig yeah i really don't care but i want it clean i want to weld it make it look clean like one piece but then i have to take the whole frame rails all the way off that i don't want to do <clears throat> but anyway let's get to today's video of the fender flare delete kit and the rock slider delete kit that I got in today all right guys once I get it on I'll show you all right guys there it is with the flares on it there's the old ones I'll lean this up so you can see it looks pretty nice pretty snazzy little fake vent there there's the back some of these screws were different sizes so keep that in mind uh, you do have to take the, let me get this flipped over, Ugh. you have to take the grill out. It's just these two screws on each side, so four total of these come out here. Those come out here, and then you can get to the last fender flare bolt, which is right there, as you can see, sticking out there. So you just lay this in there and then put it all back together. These top ones are kind of hard to get back in there with this metal flare delete but uh if you angle it down in there and then it'll push it and then it'll grab this piece and pull it back in you'll be fine uh so there's the there's the body oh gosh there we go here's the body with the fender flare delete set up on here and then i'll do the chassis all right guys in my opinion that makes the jeep look 20 times better I might trim that bumper or get the uh, Viviton bumpers. But there you go, guys. Get a better view. There's the rock sliders. Uses the stock hardware, stock location. And that looks sick. Better approach angle. I have my sliders all the way in, so yeah, it's harder to get the body on. But it protects it and keeps less stuff to hang on to sticking out too far so that's why i have them all the way slid in man that looks nice so what do you think guys got wheels and tires coming and axles here soon all right guys thanks for watching uh stay tuned if you want to see more upgrades after i do the upgrades uh we'll take her out see how much better it performs with this stuff the axles and uh hopefully my wheels and tires i might be doing that before 
the wheels and tires come in because they're kind of a weight but at least I'll get the axles on and then we'll go from there and I'll decide if I still want to make this a 6x6 or not.